Hello everyone, we are Stella, Alyssa, Jabez, and We will introduce you to the Classic Era. First, let's start with what the Classical Era is. The Classical Era was took place during 1750 and 1820. The Classical Era was mostly in Europe, Italy, France, Germany, Austria, and England. The Classical Era was formed when the when new people wanted to go back to classic times like ancient Greece. During this time, the cotton gin was also invented. This is the creator of the cotton gin, Eli Whitney. The classical Era took place in Vienna. Vienna was artistic and cultural in Europe. During the Classic Era, the piano was a popular instrument. The Classical Era was not that long but not that short. So the Classical Era was spreading its name for 90 years. What type of government was run by the richest and most powerful citizens? Now these are the instruments that were used in the classical era. There are violin, flute, viola, cello, classic, classic guitar, clarinet, piano, and much more. One of the most famous classical musicians. There are Beethoven, Wolfgang Mozart, Claude Debussy, which, which Richard Wagner, Joanne Brahms, and more. Beethoven was a famous classical musician. His full name is Ludwig van Beethoven, and he was born in December 1770 in German and died in March 26, 1827. Beethoven was a composer and a pianist. Mozart. Mozart was born on January 27, 1756. He died on December 5, 1791. His nationality is Rome. His full name is Johannes Christomus Wolfgang Theolopus. Mozart. Mozart is a famous composer from the classical era. He composed over more than 600 songs. Uh, Mozart is famous for being so musically talented at a young age. While other children at his age would go outside to play, Mozart was composing songs. This is Elin Klein, not Musik. It's good. Claude Debussy. So he was born on August 26, 1862, and he died on March 25, 1918. Um, his nationality is French, and his most famous works are Claire de Lune, Lamar, and Prelude. Claude Debussy was actually from a poor family. His, I mean, his mother was seamstress, and his father worked in a Chinese shop. That all changed when Debussy started taking piano classes at seven. This is one of his most famous works, Claire de Lune. Now, this is the interview with Beethoven. Hello Beethoven, how are you? I'm a big fan of your compositions. Yes, I'm Will. I have just finished recording the new song for everyone. I'm the next of our generation. I think you are great and make such good compositions. Yes, I thank my family because they motivated me for everything. When were you born? I was born in December 1770. Which nationality are you? I'm from Germany. Well, that's it for the interview. Thanks, Beethoven. Keep it up. Inventions during the classical era. Number one, the hot air balloon. The first hot air balloon ever looked like this. It was created by the Monkofer brothers. It was created because people wanted to fly. Number two, the sewing machine. The sewing machine was invented by Bartholomew Thimonier. This made making clothes much faster and efficient. Before, they had to sew it all by hand. Wow. Number three, the steam locomotive. The steam locomotive was invented by George Stephenson and Richard Trevithick. This made deliveries much easier and faster. This is the timetable of the classical era. First, in 1756, Mozart was born. Then, in 1770, Beethoven was born. After, the oxygen was discovered. There was also the Revolutionary War from 1775 to 1783. After, there was the French Revolution from 1789 to 1799. And there was the first vaccine in 1796. Finally, there was the first parody ever in 1800s. 
Now, these are the fun facts. First, Don Giovanni seduced 1,001 Spanish, 640 Italian, 231 German, 100 French, and 91 Turkish women. Second, in the 18th century, dogfish skin was often used in sand violence. There are two skulls in Hayden's tomb because his head was stolen by a phrenologist. And there was a replacement skull in in 1954, his, skull, his real skull was restored, but the substitute skull was not removed. Rosini wrote the Tatin Palpiti while waiting for food in a Venus restaurant. Thank you for listening to our presentation.